Hi Sagittarius, this is Shah speaking from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your reading for the 15th to the 21st of January and welcome back my Cyber Angels and thank you very much for coming back and being faithful uh, as you always are I know we're all busy and ch changing with the atmosphere and uh, the energy is changing to the posit positive and a lot of the uh, da lockdown is disappearing or lightening up great stuff now Sedge um, you were number seven I think yes you were number seven with 35 hits so if you want would like to be number one then go ahead and keep on liking and sharing just hit that bell and thank you very much for your 35 hits I hope you enjoy the readings now I've forgotten uh, to add the uh, the crystal card okay and I'll just shake the cards whilst I'm talking to you so that is why you are number seven and not number whatever 12 <laughs> uh, my sedges okay let's have a look and you got lithium lithium quartz okay that one goes there and the angel card I already have and that is a green one Ooh, money uh, green to me is money so money is coming your way okay well I'll get into that card a little bit later okay now I'm doing, this is the spread I usually do, but all in one deck. Um, then I use a different deck for clarifying in the extensive, extensive readings one to one. I'm only taking a few things um, from the reading, but I'm, I've planned it this way, that this reading can be quite extensive too, and gets a lot of information. And we start with mon uh, the Querent card, or uh, the overall energy and then Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday this card clarifies these three cards or these three cards clarify that card the same with each corner and that one and then the angel feather as I said and the crystal uh, card that's what I have this week so if you're new welcome to the channel if you've just by accidentally uh, landed on this page please subscribe and hit the bell on all then you'll be notified because I do go live three times a week and that's Monday Wednesday and Friday and uh, then you'll be notified when something happens on the channel okay and I answer questions that are supported by a donation and that's super chat or super sticker and I also give away free cards okay so let's get started my darlings okay Sergei, the first card that you have is take time out so listen to that to that you need to meditate or contemplate and evaluate the question or the situation at hand that will give you stability number four is proper foundations if you're busy building with things or starting things then it's good to do it on a proper foundation then you won't get the tower and you won't get unwanted things happening to you you can stay in control I know you need this feeling of control and knowing where you're going to and what you're going to do so take a rest and sit down and think about it but also evaluate it so you can steer things decide things which is the best approach to take then you have the death card and the death card is a transformation not a real death like he's sitting cradled in the birds hands okay he's just sitting there and he's looking at papers perhaps you're studying or perhaps you're looking at documentation with regarding to something that you need to sort out or think about and evaluate this death card also repre represents Scorpio so there might be a Scorpio around you 
that it has a significant meaning to you or uh, might you might make a new friend which is a Scorpio you're going into a new beginning number 13 again 1 and 3 is 4 so you've got a double figure here and double number but number 13 also means fellowship in the yin and the yang the I Ching so you might meet new friends okay on Wednesday we have the Emperor and the Emperor also represents Aries the Emperor means that you might be seeking advice from a professional or a father figure this could be an Aries if your father is an Aries okay on Wednesday you have the moon the moon is a cancer that represents cancer no sorry Pisces but don't exclude no uh, well the this is the big arcana and all the big arcana cards uh, nearly all the big arcana cards represent a, a zodiac sign but they also represent planets the others that don't represent a zodiac sign so this is Pisces there are things that you don't know and you need to sort them out you need to like here you are busy with uh, paperwork perhaps contracts for a new job but so look at the small print there are things you don't know somebody might be wearing a mask this could be a Scorpio an Aries or a Pisces they are wearing a mask so you need to get to the bottom of something you need to get more information so you might need to do more research with regarding to that you need to get to know the truth and get clarity but I said cancer now look you've got the lobster or c a crab in the picture so it could also be cancer okay but the moon does represent Pisces you know you can see so much in a card I see a lot in cards like today we had the crow for the daily card and I see more in a card not just the crow I see culture I see tradition I see things like that so coming back to the moon you are walking the golden path the yellow brick road it just looks like Debbie in the uh, Wizard of Oz because she's also wearing red shoes so get the magic follow your path to the northern node you're on the right path but you need more information you'll be learning things along the way okay um, and hopefully you will get to the bottom of the mystery but you are in the spotlight and something is being illuminated so be aware people do notice you then you have the 10 here you've got 18 so that's a 9 that's an ending where there is an ending there is a new beginning again an ending and a beginning okay now he's sitting there with all the swords or rather arrows in him and it's a voodoo doll but think of the symbolic sim, uh, symbolically uh, what this could mean do you feel stabbed or did somebody stab you this time it's not in your back usually it is somebody lying on his face in other tarot decks and they've got swords in the back but this is in front and in his hands his shoulder did you see this coming or did it was that the secret that somebody else was not what they seemed and they were sharp tongued and metaphorically threw all the darts at you or the swords and you didn't see it coming so be careful this is a warning card but there is a new beginning okay walk away from people's drama 
walk away from people that you don't trust listen to your intuition because the moon card is also the spiritual card emotions heightened the intuitiveness is heightened especially around the end of this week because we're going into cancer so we're going into a new phase new energy we're leaving this quick fast busy phase of Gemini Are you thinking that you might be getting stabbed? That could be it as well. That you have withdrawn yourself into a corner to sulk. Don't sulk. Stand up. Dust yourself off. And carry on. Contemplate about it. Evaluate it. And see whether you need to end this friendship. Because he's looking at this doll. Okay, now that's amazing. So there are warning cards here, so get those feelers up and running, okay? Those are tennis. You've got the seven of ones. You can defend yourself. You are stronger than you think. You can stand your ground against this person that is not honest and true and wants to stab you in the back you use your wisdom and if you take a page out of the air signs book use your wisdom you don't have to be sharp tongued but you can tell the truth say the truth what you want what you mean and that you don't want any fooling about you won't take it because you know the right way and you know what you want and you know uh, when you took this job on that you read the contract and you read the small print you asked for advice from a professional they cannot fool you okay it's not bigger than uh, than life that's what I'm hearing the issue is not bigger than life you are bigger than life you've done the work you've thought about it and you did go ahead so don't stab me in my back now that is what you can say you've got the six of swords so you are moving away from troubled water you're going into quieter water smoother water you might be moving home you might be going on holiday <coughs> because now it is advised to take a break okay you've got the king of pentacles so money is coming in because you've made the right investment the king of pentacles has the meters touch which means you've got the everything you touch will turn to gold in other words positive it will bring his its returns for a long time and with durability now that might be the new beginning that you might get promotion <coughs> or you might have invested in something and you see the return that could give you the new beginning now you can relax because there is money to go on holiday okay and you've got the Emperor you seek advice on what to do with but you've sought advice when you did this investment Wow and this could be the King of Pentacles Taurus but don't exclude Capricorn or Virgo so the father figure could be Taurus that gave you sound advice and now you're seeing the return and to top it all you have the ace of pentacles you have the ace of pentacles it looks like a big sun and the shine of it okay positivity again all three air signs Taurus Virgo Capricorn you might be meeting one of them and starting a business with them or a relationship or you might get married you might find out you uh, 
you're expecting from a Taurus, a Virgo or a Capricorn. There is a new beginning, transformation, same as death. Wow, you didn't know you were pregnant and you're finding out. Ooh, and you're finding out that this earth sign or fire sign loves you or this water sign. Ooh, nice one. It could be marriage because you have a new start and you've got the emperor. He's a bit like the high priest. So officiality, so you might make it official. This could be also the house that I was been talking about. Because you're moving. Okay. Perhaps you're moving in with this new person. Awesome. It's going to have durable durability and it's going to last for a long time. Now, I said money. You've got the green feather. Uh, it, the green color means to me the heart. It means space. It means health. And it means money. Green heels, okay? Simple things. The angel, angels would like you to take some time alone to gain a fresh perspective of life. There you go. But green is also the um, heart chakra. So heal. That's why a heal is health, okay? You might have healed your heart and that healed that heals your health now you've got number 33 you've got an angel number and number 33 um, also is a double number which is six so it will is and six means balance so you will be brought back to balance okay and that will help with your health harmoniousness, peacefulness, joyful interconnectedness. Beautiful. Wow. That's the essential meaning of this card. Now I've got a relationship piece and I've got a prosperity piece. Okay. And also the, the extensive meaning of the lithium quartz. You can carry it with you you can put it next to your dresser, you can put it in your bag, you can put it in your bra or your pocket, preferably close to your skin. Becoming still calms the acti activity in our heads and puts us back in touch with our bodies. Our spirits and the conscious universe, lithium cohorts, spirit appears with a reminder to get quiet and recognize that you have within you all that you need Ju uh, you just need to amplify some of the qualities that can bring you a sense of joy and fulfillment by giving them quiet calm attention overstimulating can be distracting so refresh yourself with some time spent in or around nature green or nature's creatures, whether it is very warm, animal, or a or a pond of fish swimming happily around, reframe your senses to recognize that all is well when you are turned into the rhythms of the earth and aware of interconnectedness, the water and sky, yourself and the ground beneath your feet. The breeze and the birds fly from one tree to the next. Turn your face to the sun, recognizing that just as you drink in its rays, you are always drinking in the pure joy of love, available to you from the conscious universe. Today is the day of experiencing peaceful harmony and happiness. For the relationship message, peaceful in partnerships comes from being willing to trust 
that there is more than one day to make things happen, more than one way to think or act. Just as in nature you can partner with an other who brings strength to places where you are weak even as you do the same. We are meant to support each other in other in our healing and growth, balancing each other, which is why opposites so often attract. Let yourself appreciate the harmonious that harmon harmoniousness that arises when you allow yourself to be different from an other yet un uh, yet unified in love and joy interconnectedness All right i'm sorry about that noise if you hear somebody shouting now the message for prosperity and the message is harmoniousness means agreement on a common foundation and you've got two falls and i was talking about foundations and when lithium quartz spirit arrives it is asking you to see how much you benefit from complementary partners as you build your wealth and co-create a sense of security in this world we are all interconnected and all can bring joy love healing and trust to the spaces we share when we do our natural per uh, prosperity is amplified as evidence by the changes happening in our outer conditions today today do your part to let go of old fears of not having enough instead bring peace to the table so that all may enjoy prosperity so the, the message here is not only that but see what you can bring to the table let people know that you are all right contact somebody that you haven't spoken to for a long time not because it is locked down but because you are able to pick up the telephone and give send a text message or give a phone call or send a postcard just letting them know you are thinking of them this is beautiful let them know you're doing well and you're thriving thriving okay beautiful reading Sage. so you're going really to um, quieter waters and by the looks of it you're going to better waters you might even cross water so you might be immigrating or you might just cross water by going across a bridge to work from your home to work and those are all signs so be aware more f aware of what is happening around you go to nature listen to the birds sit in a park or if you have a garden sit in your garden drink your cup of coffee if it's nice and warm in the morning just before you go off to work lovely i hope you've enjoyed it please like and share and we'll see whether the count will be whether you're the highest in likes and then you'll be number one i hope to see you tonight in the life as today it is friday so enjoy and take care enjoy your week and your weekend take care god bless big hugs